Welcome back to Trinity Talks. It is going to be six weeks on Thursday that we have been on lockdown and I just thought it would be good to have a mental health checkup. And so I have asked my daughter, who is a professional counselor, to be here and to give us some tips on how to stay mentally healthy during this pandemic. After all, it is biblical because in Psalms 26 and 2, it says, examine my heart and my mind. So today, Tanya, why don't you just give us some tips on how to stay healthy mentally? It's great to be with you today. So I want to talk about how do we deal with social isolation? How do we deal with maintaining routine and a few things that can help us as we move along every week, basically, to keep ourselves grounded. So we're not made for isolation, we're made for connection. So it's important to make sure that you maintain those connections with your friends, with your family. You phone them, you FaceTime them, anything that you can do to keep connected. And if you know of someone that is alone and that you know doesn't really have a good support system around them, then it would be important to kind of do your part and reach out to them and make sure that they're doing okay, that they're managing and to be able to encourage them and encourage each other basically throughout this time. It's also important to maintain your connection with God because that's something that sustains us all. Mm -hmm. And so that's another thing to just make sure to keep kind of in the back of your mind, like, okay, uh, how, how, where, how am I doing spiritually? Where am I? You know, how can I really grow and use this time for my benefit instead of feeling like, it's something that's happening to me that I can't control. Next is structure. If you're having trouble maintaining routine, then it's important to reinvent the structure in your life. So making sure that you go to bed at the same time, wake up at pretty much the same time. Yes, on weekends you can wake up maybe half an hour later if you'd like, but just to maintain that routine. Get dressed. Mm. I think that's a good one yeah because a lot of people are staying in their pajamas all day exactly yeah. so at least put your day pajamas on if you want but <laughs> at least get ready for the day uh you'll put on makeup if you want to i mean i i do still because that's something that helps me also if you have a daily checklist you can write that down so at least you have tasks you're completing throughout the day it's also to 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 look at if you are really struggling with anxiety and worrying a lot, then it would be good to write down the things you're worrying about and then worry about those things for five minutes. Worry as much as you can for five minutes and then you move on to something else. Good advice. <laughs> <laughs> you, you also can actually then write all the things that you have under your control, all the things that you can control versus the things you worry about are usually not under your own control. Name the ways that it's affected you. When you're talking to someone, you're, you're kind of sharing what's going on. Talking about the situation helps you bring it outside yourself so that you're not, you're able to sit above the problem. You're not swimming in it. You're above it because you're observing what it is and what it's doing to you. So that's basically the tips that I have for you today. Hope you enjoyed it. I hope these tips are helpful to help you get through this time of isolation. And until Trinity talks again, be safe and uh, God bless you.